getting ready to do my Pilates. We are in, what would we call this? Research and development. I'm sniffing candle samples. I'm a little candle sniffer today and it's almost like I was hoping that it would be worse than this because every single candle smells incredible. The one that's burning right now smells like, I'm not telling you. I gotta keep some secrets, but one thing I will tell you is my little concoction. So story time, we're also gonna go, this kind of fits perfectly. We're gonna go into like spring cleaning, getting my ish together. I wanna set up my planner. I want to get into my workouts, which I kind of have been doing pretty good with. And I just wanna plan out the next season. Fresh start for spring. I feel like a lot of us need it, especially me. All right, let me tell you my story. So I had this moment of wanting to wear sunscreen more, but also I saw this like viral spritz stuff that you spray on your body and it has sunscreen in it, but it also gives you a little glow. It's sold out everywhere and apparently the glitter doesn't really show and I just couldn't find it. And I also, I was not guaranteed on what it would smell like. So here's what I did. I got myself this mister. Look at, I made this by the way. Just one second, let me, let me show you the glitter that is within this. So I shake it up. Are you dead? Cause I'm dead. This is sunscreen SPF 50. It smells like Bora Bora and there's glitter in it. And I just go like this before I leave the house and it smells so dang good, like I can't. So I got the container, it's like a fine mist spray. I got, it's from Kitsch, I just got it off of Amazon. I'll link everything that I did. Not that you care about this, but I would care. And then I got this SPF 50 weightless oil and then I used this stuff is my favorite. It was gifted to me and I have been cherishing it and I love it. So I used half the bottle in here. It's Man Manoir, Manoy, Manoy? How do you spell it? Say it. Oh, it smells so good. So it's basically like a Tahitian scent. So that's the smell. And then I needed glitter. So I got this body glitter stuff. It's landscape day. Hold tight, Disney cast members. Thank you. You know what's good? It's all on the same day. So once it's done, it's done for the week, which is great. Okay, sunscreen, glitter. I don't know how to pronounce this, but Tahitian coconutty smell. Spritz, nice, smell delicious. You're welcome. I had to share it with you guys, my little concoction. So in my last video where I left you, we had done a full week of what we ate and drank in Disney World and everything in between. It was chaotic, but it was a vibe. I wanted to continue the Disney vibes with a little bit more house stuff because I do want to deep clean. I do want to donate a bunch of stuff with being like an online person. I hate the word influencer. It's not my thing. Because you're not influencing anything. I mean, maybe, maybe I just like helped you find this. I more just want to like inspire you to live just like a happy life. That's all I want. I just want to be like a little pocket of joy on the internet for you. So I kind of, I don't like that word. With being a person that creates videos online, I receive items and sometimes the items either don't fit or I don't want them anymore or they're collecting dust or whatever. I never want to throw them out. So I try and donate them to various people. I have like my sister from another mister that lives down the street. Love her. She knows who she is. And she's like my little sis, but we're the same size and the same, the same lanky tallness. By the way, the number one thing you guys say whenever I meet you guys in the park, like in real life, every single person always like, you're really tall. Maybe I look shorter on camera. I'm like, Five nine, five eight and a half is what I like to say just to make myself seem a little bit shorter, but no, I'm, I'm a tall gal. So my sister from another mister usually gets my tall gal stuff. And then Tony that takes care of our house, the ladies of his home watch this channel and I love them and I usually send them some goodies. And then we have some other friends here that I usually give some treasures to. So I'm gonna try and just make a couple of little boxes to gift them. And I just wanna clean out my closet amongst other things. So we have a lot of work to do. Clean, spring clean, kind of reset myself for the season, starting with a workout. Also, what causes, Andre doesn't believe me. I know one of you, if not many of you will agree with this. What causes like a, like a slight eye twitch? If it's happening while I'm talking, I'm so sorry, it's distracting. I personally think it's dehydration, hence my last video. We have hydration in here and we have pre-workout. Like just a quick little, like an eye flutter. It's really annoying and it only happens once in a while and just on this eye, what's happening to me? What is it? All right, we're gonna smell some candles. We're gonna down this pre-workout. That's, that's a no, this is a no. See, some are not good and some are incredible. Dang good, dang good. We're knee deep in work, but I, I do feel like I need a good reset. So if you want a spring reset and put a little pep in your step with me, but do a Disney style, then just keep watching. Going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything. 
I'm fully winded from that. I feel like Pilates is one of those things that looks really easy and then it humbles you like crazy. So all I'm doing right now, I just slipped on a little maxi dress because I have to film a video real quick, but I need to put, I want to put a hair mask in, possibly color my hair, which I feel is very on point with a spring refresh. I'm at that point where I'm wondering if I should dye my whole head, but I got a nice hair mask. I got a clarifying shampoo, which if you don't know what that is, you need one, I'll show it to you. So I'm just gonna, do a quick top knot, maybe like put something on my face in terms of makeup. And I'm filming a video today for the Daily Grind channel. The Daily Grind YouTube channel has kind of become a visual podcast almost, and like a plan with me and just motivation and all the things. Okay, quick spritz. This is like the best dupe of life of like those do i have the real one i don't even think i have it in here i definitely bought it you know those like expensive bronzing contour ones this one's like a dupe of it and i will say better and it smells like coconuts it's like drugstore pricing not that i need bronzer or contour right now i, I freckle like what, what what i was gonna say like bruise like a peach like well, i freckle like a little freckle lady i don't hate it but i don't love it <laughs> So I use my Kindle. I put this cute little bubble pop socket on it. You guys told me to do that and I listened. I have a small reading list of like physical books here. I would like to get a few more, but I really am a fan of the Kindle. Like it just works for me. I tried to get Andre on it and it's not working. He really likes the physical book. So you guys let me know, are you a Kindle person? Are you undecided or are you like tried, tested, true? paper for the win. I just, I never thought that I would be this into it. And I just became like, it changed the game for me with reading. The big thing was like the way that you can just kind of like with your thumb, like just sit there and read way faster. I am kind of in a reading lull right now. And I do notice that mentally reading fiction, and this is something I discovered, I would say a year ago, it changed the game for me. Like just my own mental happiness, that little escape. Instead of watching TV or scrolling social media, I just felt like it was so good for my brain and good for my mental health and good for my happiness levels. And just, I just love it. Like I'm such a big believer in reading fiction. And the thing too, I will say is I lived a life of like for 10 years, it was drilled into me. Like you gotta read personal development and you need to read motivation. And I will say after a while, it kind of like, it burns you out. I don't need to be motivated anymore. <laughs> like I'm good. So I kind of almost went on like a breather, like a complete break of that. I will say right now in terms of like motivational books, what I'm into would be a mixture of biographies. So I have not read this yet. I bought it, I believe just in the shops in Disney Springs and it's biography of Walt Disney. So like, I mean, what better for me to read? So I feel like a biography or like health books. So I have these two, this one is amazing. I've just never made my way through it, but I kind of use it as like a dictionary of like ailments anytime that I have something wrong with me and it, it works, I love it. And then I got this one too, just for knowledge. And like, for me, that's all the motivation that I'm interested in right now. Like I really don't need an author being like, you need to do X, Y, and Z. I love a good workbook, you guys know that. I'm a little bit biased, I love our workbook. I am secretly working on a new one, not so secretly because I've shared it and it's so good, but she's fresh. Every quarter I go through a new dream life blueprint. I just went into Andre's office. He has like all of the inventory in there, all the samples, all the inventory. Oh, you can't see it. There's literally a very secret, very important, like the utmost. Can you see? 
no, you can't. It's literally right behind my chair. Like the utmost important launch sample coming. It's the final, it's the final run through. So yeah, for motivation for me, I would say biography is on my TBR, which is a new word I've just, new term I've just learned in the reading community. Health books and then a good workbook. So this is the workbook that I wrote. I feel like a lot of you know this in case you don't. It basically is 200 pages of like oddly fast to work through it and just how to design your dream life. Like if you don't know what the heck you want in life and you struggle with motivation, setting boundaries, goal setting, it's all in here. So I do this every quarter and then I start a fresh planner. That's kind of the layout that I do. Now, one thing I'm doing today is I'm grabbing either, I went into Andre's office and I took this cause this is his setup. Look how cute he is. I don't want to touch it. This is his. He uses the lined paper. And then he has the tab dividers and he likes the green one. He literally has one thing left. No, he has two things left on his to-do list. So freaking cute, adorable. So I'm not gonna take this from him. That would be mean. He has our daily grind pen. So here's the thing. I brought my gold discs for this one home and I have the pink discs. I, I kind of just want to set up like a little reading tracker and get myself in the groove again. So here's what happened. Not, I'm not shutting down this book. I read the first book from the, um, it's called the Knock'em Out series by Lucy Score. I read the first one, it was good. Like I wouldn't say it was great. It's giving Hallmark movie and then on a dime it turns naughty and you're like, what's happening? It's still really good, but not amazing. I think that my favorite style of book is, here I'll read you my top favorite books. I, I shared this with the team today because they were like, can we get everybody's TBR like top favorite books ever? And I shared mine, I'm like, I think I have a style of book that I love. The one that I shared with the team, Verity, The Housemaid and The Perfect Marriage are my favorite books. Like I love them and they're all like crazy lady books. I love a good crazy lady. So that's clearly the style I love. I'm stuck on this. I'm stuck on chapter one. I need to move on. Like that's, that's the synopsis of this. So I'm gonna set up my reading tracker and I'm going to go into my Kindle recommendations and maybe look at like a Colleen Hoover. One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose is very interesting to me. Too Late by Colleen Hoover's on my TBR. The next Mrs. Parrish is on my TBR. To be read, by the way, I'm, I'm learning things. Okay, I'm by no means like a reading pro, but I wanted to talk about books because I used to do videos on that all the time. So let's, let's set this up together. Oh, okay, yes, this kind of, this is a vibe. Okay, yes, right? Okay, so I am going to potentially grab, I'm so torn, but what I am gonna do is I am gonna jump over to the Daily Grind channel and set this all up and have like a little chit chat about the books um, and also show how I'm gonna fill this out on that channel because it's more specific. So you'll see me over there doing exactly this. We're gonna jump to that and then I'm going to be like ready to rock and roll with my book reading. I also just found this book, this was gifted to me. Like a, it's like a typical motivation book, but I wouldn't be mad about reading that. I feel like that could be really good. Okay, I'm gonna go set this up over on the Daily Grind channel. We're all set up. I'm out of my reading lull. I'm gonna show you what I did. So for the full setup and like how I printed and did everything, it took me about like about an hour. I just kind of hung out in my office, but I feel so much better. So let me show you this little, this little setup. I have a, a TBR list of four books that I'm gonna read. One has not launched yet, I didn't know that. So I put everything in the cream, hi. I put everything in the cream planner with rose gold discs and then I divided it into four sections. Books, challenges, this month, this week. It makes so much freaking sense to me and I love it. So the first is like the bookshelf. I put books that I've read and then it kind of just got me inspired to like fill this whole sheet up. And I did the color keys is by like amazing, favorite, good, meh, not at all. And then challenges is what kind of got me going. So there's like a bingo here. And I was trying to pick books that fit each of these challenges. From there, I used my little printer and I printed out my first four books on my four month TBR. And then I'm gonna track my weekly reading in the weekly section. So I kind of like that it's its own thing. You can also just put it in with your planner. That was kind of how it's meant to be, but this is also a cool idea. So I downloaded the first one. Apparently it's really good and you can't put it down, which is my type of book, love a thriller. And for the Verity extra chapter, which is also on my TBR, I'm just gonna order the book. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna clean, not today though. I'm trying to figure out, it's like the end of the day. It's like 4.30. I'm gonna ask Andre, babe, what do you wanna do for like, what, what is our Disney adventures this evening? Boathouse bar? 
I was also considering Coral Reef. No, I like Boathouse Bar. It's more, it's more chill, less pressure. Disney Springs it is. And it's kind of healthier, that meal. So is Coral Reef, but. All right, back to work, I think. Now that that's done, there's something I have to film. Oh, I have to upload the footage for the video. And then we're prepping all of the things. It's very productive today. Okay, so I got cleaned up a little bit, put on a little bit of a face. We are in testing mode right now, so I'm gonna, I just keep lighting more candles. You're a part of the process with me. I really wish that we had smell-o-vision so that you could help me because it's a really big decision. And as you can see, it's a really big collection. It's so good. So I can't say very much. So I just keep taking more notes. Andre comes to help. We're talking with the producer. I'm excited. 15th cup of coffee. I'm exaggerating. It's like my second. I've just set up. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Does anybody else do that where you microwave your coffee like 20 times throughout the day? Here's where I'm at. I'm gonna probably set up outside to work, but before I do that, I have a live that I have to do today for the daily grind. And I'm adding to, like I'm having way too much fun with it. And I keep adding all my other little books with the printer. I don't love that little printer. It's, it's okay, but the one I have at home in Canada is far superior. So I will link that one, but I just asked our book club group which book they wanna read. And it seems like they wanna read the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I know I'm so late to the game on it, but apparently they are too. And they're like, we need to read this because everybody says it's amazing. So yes, Verity arrives today. I had to get the hardcover. It's not on Kindle. Coffee's ready. So I'm going to set this up outside. I'm going to bring my it's Avatar area music. I'm going to bring my computer outside and I'm going to clean up as much as I can. I did clean one thing that happened. Okay, I got it, I got it. One thing that did happen off camera earlier. See, I don't film everything. Sometimes I just wanna do the things. It's, it's a weird, weird balance. So this felt really good. I had so many cuppies under here from like different seasons. Like this was full, we've emptied it out. So now I don't, the weirdest thing, I have zero Easter decor here, like nothing. I kept quite a few of our cups from Halloween, I have that one from Christmas. I don't know if I like that light bulb thing anymore, but it's all good. This is the drink smoker. Like th this is what I'm looking for. We need to clean and organize. And I need to do it with my closet because we're going on a cruise soon-ish. Like, what do we call it? Some, no, like late spring. I need to figure out what's in my closet that I would wanna bring and what I can donate. So that's the game plan. I filled this box with donations, all the cuppies. Most of it is like, merch that we've gone through. I can't keep all of our merch, Disney cuppies, all the things. So I'm gonna get to cleaning. I feel like I have a lot to do. It's like one of those days where I'm overwhelmed, but it's okay. We wrote down our top three needle movers in our planner. If you're not doing that, this is your sign, do it. You need a top three needle movers planner. It's called the daily grind. I'm gonna go make my way upstairs. I'm gonna light one more candle before I go up there. Here's a hint. I'm never like, I can't be trusted. It's a clean scent and it is literally, how would I explain this? It is literally the epitome of just clean scent. So that's what I'm, it's like the perfect, like, hey, I'm cleaning my house. It's giving Disney magic. That's all I can say. I've already I've said too much. So each scent has four now renditions. So just keep sniffing them. But this one I think is the fave. It's happening. You're not ready probably do the live outside. All right, so we can clean for one hour. Best uh, productivity hack that I can give you, set timers, like give yourself like 30 minutes to do like a deep clean or whatever. You just, you work so much faster if you set a timer. I love just using like a kitchen timer or my phone. We should start in the closet is the answer, Angie, and you know that that's the answer, girl. All right, make the bed, laundry, closet, spring cleaning vibes. Do it. Walls, there's a place for us. Where we could go, where we could be alone Between city lights, we don't have to hide I wanna go, do you wanna follow? There's something in the air, I can't explain it but it's there Ain't nobody gonna find us in our secret love affair I don't wanna have to hide I just wanna preface this by saying that some of the things that I'm getting rid of I have had since 2007, like our very first, if, it, if you have been following me for any amount of time, like a long amount of time, I mean, this 
is like the most iconic. I can't get rid of it. It's like the most vintage Disney Angie outfit. It's my favorite outfit I've ever worn in front of the castle. I was blonde when I had this, but I can't get rid of it. I think the skirt is her universe and I think the top is Hot Topic, which I do understand Hot Topic is now also her universe, but it wasn't when I was a youngin. And then I kept my Jurassic Park tank top, my Toy Story tank top, my Carl and Ellie tank top, and then I have two Mickey ones. And then this one also is like very, like this is an Angie original. Tossed all my jean shorts. So I'm gonna go bring those to my sister from another mister. Empty drawer. Love that journey for me. All right, let's keep going. Do you wanna follow? should look like is just stuff everywhere I'm trying to organize like all the seasonal stuff that I have here like I have so much Christmas clothing and 4th of July stuff and I don't know, we're, we're donating a lot the accumulation is real so I'm gonna set up oh, maybe outside going live okay we are 30 minutes less than 30, 20 minutes to launch plowing a sandwich because this is launch day vibes where we just don't eat because we have so much going on we gotta hydrate we made like a diy pub sub if you don't know what a pub sub is you might be biased but i do love a pub sub it's not realistic to buy a pub sub every time you want one so i get the bread and i get the boar's head deli meat and i make my own mm -hmm. i just had to pause my music but we're blaring the Alani, like the Disney Resort in Hawaii. If you've never been, it's amazing. We went when we were little youngins and it's like the one place right now that I'm jonesing to travel back to. Like I have zero desire to travel. I think we're, Andre and I are traveled out, but I would go to Alani for sure. I would be very excited about that. It's just a long flight. Um, I'm gonna put my earbuds in because as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it on camera, they're doing like a deep clean of the exterior of the house. We did not ask. It, it's all through Disney, so like we don't we don't deal with we don't we don't um, micromanage them. They do what they want to do, and as per Disney, they are very intense about the cleanliness, which we, I love. But imagine a deep clean of a garden. Like you saw my closet. That's like what the garden looks like right now. So I'm gonna let them do their thing. It's just not quiet. It's a lot of leaf blowing, which is my least favorite. I always joke with Andre, I'm like, I'm, I wanna run for president and ban leaf blowers forever. It should be banned. It's a terrible item, I'm just kidding. So I'm gonna put my headphones in or my ear, my little earbuds and finish cleaning upstairs. And I did my part for launch day. Launch, I like literally pass the baton. As soon as I post the VIP early unlock password, team takes over. So I'm gonna go into cleaning mode and then probably back on my computer for creation mode. So you're part of it. Or 
in full thunderstorm mode. I just had to turn on all the lights in the house. It's like pitch black outside, but I love, I love and live for a thunderstorm. I don't know if you can see how dark the sky. It's like really, it's like next level. You can't, no, the camera is lying. It's like, no, it's fine. Can you kind of, yeah, you can kind of see it approaching, kind of. Not really. The closet is completely cleaned out. I have three big bags for my sis, and then I have an, a huge box of stuff for Tony. Things are going quite well. Now I'm just gonna put away the stuff from my planning sesh, as well as beauty products. I gotta do laundry, and then we're going over to our neighbors for drinks. garbage bag of garbage. The room is so clean. I reorganized. I organized PJs, bras and stuff, and then undies and socks. I just had way too many socks and way too many undies, I just wanna say, like did not realize. Sports bras, shorts, Disney shirts, and then skirts and shorts, which I never really wear that, but what I do wear, and I try to prioritize like logically what I'm actually using and anything I haven't worn or used in over a year, out. No questions asked, unless it's like sentimental. So kind of organized my shoes. I donated two pairs of shoes. And I just kind of put this, I did this like little Snow White keychain on here. I thought that was cute. I brought these from Canada because Lord knows I'm not gonna wear them in the woods in Canada. So I felt like these were more appropriate. No, you can stay. You can stay. So then I put, I cleaned up my jewelry tray here. I have this like little Mickey jewelry holder. Purse, shoes. This is the last thing. Let's do it together. I'm not, we're not, we're not playing today. We're not doing that game. This is all of my regular jewelry. Listen, I don't have fancy jewelry. I have Disney jewelry, but nonetheless. And here's like sunglasses that I don't really want. So I'm gonna give her these. I mean, they're Ray-Bans, but I don't, they were a gift. Don't want that. Wow, we're trekking right along. Don't want that. She can have that. Is there for like the bottom, like if you struggle to keep your shoe, like if you slip a lot, they're like a grip and they help a lot for, for the gals like me, the gals like me that don't walk eloquently in their high heels, epic. It's like Monopoly money. Pick a card, any card. Oh, cute. Okay, so this will stay like that. All right, I emptied out these, had all seasonal stuff, so now it just has Christmas. <laughs> I'm so Canadian, 4th of July. <laughs> and then my pink, um, my pink gown up there in case I ever need a formal gown. And then just empty, so packing stuff. So this was all full, so it's now empty. And then I just have like PJs and stuff in here, pretty much empty. I tried to rotate out dresses that I haven't worn in a long time, like that I wear to dinner. So this, put some purses up here. These are what I always wear to dinner. I put them in my backpack for dinner. Disney sweaters, slippers and shoes. And then these are the dresses I wear in the park. So they're mostly Buff Bunny, Buff Bunny, Buff Bunny. And then the other ones are Halara. The Buff Bunny ones are way better, but they all are the same. They have a sports bra built in as well as shorts built in. And then up here, like shorter dresses that I would like wear to dinner and stuff. And then more long dresses back here. And then hats, like beach stuff. And then in here I did, this top row is all winter slash Christmas, Halloween, New Year's, like beach cover-ups. This one's empty and then bathing suits. And what I was doing with the bathing suits, I was trying to figure out what I would wear in Canada since now we, since now we live by a lake, yay. But I need, <laughs> I need to have a bathing suit there and I have like nothing. So I just grabbed like, I literally had two of these. These are the best by the way. So I like these ones that are like half. I saw this thing on, I want to say TikTok, that girls are making bikini boxes. I'm like, where have you been? Like I've always had a bikini box. I don't, I don't put them in a drawer. You do like a box. It's way easier. And then you can just fold the two pieces together. Even if you just throw them in, it's like way easier. Spirit jerseys. I laughed out loud at this because um, it still has the tags on from the cruise. So I will wear that on the next cruise. And I think that's everything. And then in here is winter stuff. And then Andre's side. So I'm gonna take those off. And then the closet is completely organized, which is amazing, like the best feeling ever.
done and clean. I'll just have garbage and then laundry. Told you. This is like two seconds after I said that. Vibes. I need to put a face on, but we just went to breakfast. I got changed because this just arrived and it is the perfect timing because the amount of questions that I get about the little dresses that I wear and I cleaned out my closet and everything. So I did share that they're mostly Buff Bunny. I do have some from Halara from when I first started wearing these dresses because they're perfect. You can like get on and off of rides without flashing anything and it's just way more comfortable. But Buff Bunny's launching this one. This is in like a cream color and I think that it's so pretty with like the neckline. It's just really good quality. So there's a built-in bra. The one thing I will say, like we're doing an honest review here. The one thing I will say is I hate, hate these. This is why, see how like it's creased? It makes it look like your bubbies are creased. So I usually take them out and I keep like, no, no one needs to see that. So I usually take them out since there's still a bra, but if you want lining, like if it's cold or whatever, I usually keep like, see this one's creased too. I try and keep like thicker ones that don't really bend if you really want some. So I keep a couple in my sports bra drawer or like my bra drawer, but yeah, these go in, I never keep them. I'm kind of obsessed with this. I'm pretty sure I can share this, maybe. I don't know, it's a new launch. Um, so we went, like I said, we went for brunch this morning, breakfast brunch? French breakfast. We made a list before we got here of everything that we really wanted to do. We didn't even make it through half the list, but one of them was to eat at the Yacht Club. What's the restaurant called? Ale and Compass. Arguably one of the best breakfasts in Disney. I love it. So I'm going to cross that off. And then tonight we have date night. So I tried to prepare for date night. I did wash my hair yesterday because it needed to happen. But here's one thing that I'm kind of growing into needing to figure out heatless curls because first of all, it's so hot here. I love it. But the last thing that one feels like doing is putting a hot blow dryer and like blow drying their hair. And I have a lot of hair, so it takes forever. So I'm, I'm very invested in this heatless curl thing. I've tried it in the past. It never, every time I try, it doesn't work for me. It's like an epic fail because I'm a side sleeper. But I saw that there was a way to do like a top. I sleep with a top knot. Like I literally always am like this. This is not shocking to you, but this like, I just do this all the time. And I think it is one of the reasons why my hair is healthy. The, and I just kind of pin it like that. But here's what I saw, that there's like a scrunchy thing that you can like roll your hair and curl your hair and do a top knot. I need to find something like that. But we did the hair mask. I promised I would show you the shampoo. I got like a clarifying shampoo. If you ever feel like your hair is like greasy and it needs to detox, clarifying shampoos are like the best. And I found a new one that I really liked. So, okay, let's talk more about this launch. This big box came in. I put on the dress immediately. The other dress. We're not wearing a black dress today because again, it's hot out, but it's so pretty like with the, with the little kind of corset detail, and then it flares out. So black, and I think this color would be called bone. I'm pretty sure. So it's the no filter collection again. Hopefully I'm allowed to. <laughs> no, my camera's drunk. There's a lot of color in this launch too. Look at the pastels, how pretty. I freaking love these. It's like a textured, I, re I really need you to understand that it's like a texture and it's so just cozy. So I got the matching set of this. High neck, if you have if you have bubbies and you want a cute bra, Buff Bunny is where it's at. The back is open. Freaking love this set. And then I wanted leggings, like a line dupe leggings. These are called the Micro Legacy leggings. They have the glute seam on the back. If you can see it in the light, it kind of likes, it like dips down. So it just like, you know, we're stubborn. I'm going, I'm showing you no matter what. See, in the light, can you see that? How it like dips down, it just, it contours perfectly and it just gives you like a little without like scrunching up. No one wants that. No one wants that. No girl wants that. So these are like super soft, just like a line leggings. So if you love 
I do. They're like my go-to when I fly. And then I got these pastel bras. This is the, I think this is called the candy wrap bra. Yeah, I love this bra. I have it in a bunch of different colors. It's so pretty and it's supportive and you can adjust the straps. It's such good quality. These, I hope that these fit because they're really cute, but like I have a situation. <laughs> you can only do that on yourself. I have a situation. I really hope that this fits because it's so cute, but dang. I'll, I'll keep you posted. And this one's like a little seamless halter and it's so flipping cute also, but I can do a lot of things, but I don't know if I can fit myself into these two little ones. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. We went shopping this morning a little bit when we were waiting for breakfast and I saw this because you guys are like obsessed with this. Like I put, a, they're called Park Pals. I put them on my Stanley and everybody wants Gus Gus and you can only, and I know it's annoying. You can only get them in the park. So I was like, well, here's what I'll do. I'll get a bunch of them. Like I'll get like, I don't know, four or five or whatever, ship them out to just like a bunch of you guys. I think that that could be like a cute little gift to send out. So I'm going to do that when we go shopping after lunch. But I found, this is to me the greatest, revelation slash campaign slash product Disney has ever done. It's not even Disney. Loungefly, the creator of the backpacks, has done a collection for each Disney hotel. As far as I know, it's every single Disney hotel. So I got ears. I got Yacht Club ears. So the other day I got these like beachy ones for the cruise, right? Not that one needs this many ears for a cruise, but I just got really excited. Look at the yacht. Stop it. And I think I'm going to do for the cruise, I'm either going to do this backpack because I got it on the last cruise or the Jungle Cruise. This kind of goes really cute with that actually. I don't know, but I'm gonna do one backpack and then I'm gonna do the tote that I got. And it has like the little, where's the keychain on it? It's so stinking cute. It's like a Mickey. Isn't that adorable? Okay, let's go eat. I'm, I'm legit hungry. You know what? I don't feel like wearing makeup. I was gonna do my makeup. No, I'm just gonna put sunscreen, I'm ready. So we think Spring's Pizza? You wanna go, you wanna so baby come and get away with me you wanna go you wanna leave so baby so baby come you wanna go you wanna leave so baby come and get away with me you're doing an impromptu very impromptu trip to Magic Kingdom. I'm trying to go full pink. You're gonna see why. I can't really share why yet, but you will see it or you will have probably seen the post that I am tasked with filming. My phone is charging. My little, I'm, I'm fully pink. I'm trying to go. We're going for like Elle Woods, Disney cuteness. And then I think we're gonna go have lunch after that, possibly at the contemporary bar it would be the goal. I'm gonna do some little donut earrings. You need me to wear pink too? You don't need to wear pink. No, you're okay. Do you even own anything pink? No. <laughs> Salmon? I have pink shorts. It's giving Disney Barbie. That's what I'm going for. So charger, clip. It's hot out, but we're good. So I just did a really good workout. The house is now clean. I got rid of so much stuff, so much excess, which felt great for a good spring clean. The final thing that Andre and I are like, this has to go. We're not anti-ray done. We're just over it. You know, I think this is the season of life that we're in. You can change your mind after a while. I have these four cups that I, I still love them, but we're just, we need different ones. We really like these. These are great, but I mean, the Ray Dunn I think has to go. Cleaned out pretty well. I think that stuff for the pool, they're, they're acrylic, so that's good. I have Love is Blind cups up there. They're like the real Love is Blind cups. I'm such a nerd. All right, sunglasses, I already put on sunscreen. Let's go to Magic Kingdom on a flippin' Saturday.
Magic Kingdom 1, Angie 0. I'm so tired now. I came home to some packages. So not only did we have fun, we got to ride a ride. We went on the people mover, which was amazing. And I got some work done. Technically it was work. Got some content. I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna show this to you. One of the biggest necessities, but also incredible. And then I said that I was gonna color my hair. We extended our trip by a few days, so I will probably color my hair here and detox it and wash it. Did I show my shampoo? No, I'm gonna show, I'll, I'll bring you upstairs and show you all my treasures. But I heard that if you use this volume boosting mousse before blow drying your hair, it's amazing. So we'll see. The other thing that I got, nippies. So I either wear things that don't require a bra or like have a built-in bra. And then when I, like when it's not double lined like this, I wear these. It's basically, you look Photoshopped. It's the weirdest thing. Like it'll cover, and you know, there's some that just accentuate it more. They're called nippies. And this is probably like my third or fourth box of these. So that's how good they are. So I got like the medium tan color. There's like a bunch of different skin colors and they're bigger than normal nippy covers. And they actually like taper out really thin on the sides. You literally look like photo, like you look airbrushed. It's the weirdest thing. It like makes them disappear. And then if you have like, I don't know, like a more see-through dress or like even you just don't want the outline. So I do. Like I said, this is like my fourth pair. I just keep them in the box. This, I'm so excited about this. So I actually got an ad for one of these. So I was sucked in through the ad. It's called Paper Like. Is it? It's a screen protector, but it's if you like to draw on your iPad, it's not fun drawing on glass, which is what your screen is. This makes it feel more like paper and it makes it a lot more accurate. Okay, I'm not doing this now. I'll, I'll keep you posted. I'll do a full review. Dust absorb, there's too many steps. This is, this is stressful. And I also don't wanna mess up my screen. Did I get the right size? Yes. And then I think this is a mouse pad. I don't know. So those are my purchases. I think I'm gonna go read in the pool. So part of my spring reset was to set myself up with two books for this month. I did create my reading tracker. I did that on camera. You guys saw the video. So I'm gonna go outside and read. If I look zen, it's cause I am, I'm just, I think I just hit like a wall. It's the Disney food and the Disney parks and the heat and the, I will say there's lots of people, but it really wasn't that bad. And we waited like 10 minutes to get on People Mover. The wait for like stuff like Space Mountain was like an hour, which we've done that. It's not crazy. It's really not. Magic Kingdom is the most chaotic park, but it really wasn't that bad. So here's what I'm thinking for this month. I'm gonna do, and so again, sorry if I'm repeating myself. I've been filming content for like the full week. And then last week I filmed all week long too. So I forget what I've mentioned and what I haven't. So here's what I'm thinking for my reads this month. I already finished Verity. So I put that, I checked that off of my, how did I do it? So I'm doing a monthly reading wrap up on this page. So I did the last chapter of Verity. I liked it. I gave a, a little review and then I downloaded Ask for Andrea. And then I'm also gonna read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I heard is amazing. That's part of my spring refresh. I think I need to dye my whole head because the other day whenever I was blow drying my hair, I noticed like white spruly hairs like in the middle of my, I, don't, I would rather not talk about it. It's okay. I know it's, I know it's destined for me. My grandpa had like a full head of white hair. My, my mom would be like completely gray or white hair. She colors her hair still. So I know what, I know what my destiny is and I'm okay with it. But for right now, we're going to continue coloring our hair. So I want to do that. And then I'll show you that detox. Uh, if you've never used a clarifying shampoo, don't do it all the time, but it feels amazing once in a while when you use it. And I discovered this years ago, I used to get the, I still do at home. I have the Unite. Detox shampoo, which is the same brand as what I use is for the, the the detangler. So they have a clarifying shampoo, but I got a different one. And then I just, I filmed a little reel giving a tour of the Bambi room with Bambi. Are you tired? I was saying that I'm like super, just like. You know, glad you came to way of doing that. Just took a round out of us and we weren't even there for that long. Here's my little situation that I did the other day. Um, I know a lot of people are sponsored by this company. I'm not, I just genuinely like it. And I, I just, I'm just sharing it. And for that matter, anything that I share, I always genuinely like. <laughs> you guys made me panic whenever I shared this the other day. You're like, they're going out of business, buy all of them. So I tried to get the one that like I love and it's already gone. I had to get this one, the tea tree. So apparently Body Shop is going out of business and like the, the thing that I bought since I'm like 10 years old is gonna be gone forever. Neither here nor there. So this is my little, my little set that I used on my hair. So this is the clarifying shampoo I used and their stuff smells so good. This, this smells like just good, like just smells clean, but this is the hair mask. 
It smells like coconut, and I think it's a coconut and fig. Yeah, that's what it is. And then it comes with a little brush. So I'll, I'll link all of this. Such a good, I've, I've used that forever. Like, I love it. And then on here, I keep my skincare that I've also talked about. I use like the double extreme one. Usually there's one X. This one has like the red top and two Xs, which is for sunspots. I, I still love it. And then this is like slightly tinted. It has sunscreen in it. Well, it doesn't have sunscreen. It has SPF 50 and it's all natural. And I love it and I still use it. I won't shut up about that skincare because I just freaking love it. I'm sharing all my treasures. So I cleaned out everything in here too. Everything looks really good. This is that scrub. This is my last bottle of it. So I was trying to get a new one and it's different. I mean, there's nothing to do. It is what it is. So yeah, my under cabinet area is now all organized. I cleaned everything out. This is like my the bum bum cream or whatever you call it, like the cellulite cream, cellulite cream, spray tan, makeup removers, the cream that you guys told me to get from the glow up. And then I just have like cotton swabs in here and then my tea tree stuff. And then on the second shelf, I'm all organized now. Toothbrush, this is my deodorant that I always use. Just ingredients, I love that company. So yeah, and I do have a code for just ingredients. So yeah, I'm all organized now. Threw out a bunch of stuff, cleaned up. So hopefully you enjoyed a mixture of Spring cleaning, getting my life together, organizing, working, and Disneying. Today was fun. We don't do Magic Kingdom often, but when we do, it's just a good reminder that it's really very magical and very fun. So I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of this, and I will see you very soon. Bye, dudes. <laughs>